Today's video is sponsored by Stock Wallpaper App. Find all your favorite stock wallpapers from all your favorite past and current devices at stockwallpaper.app. eSIM Studios, well, well, well. Christmas came early, I guess, for us Pixel users. So Quick Share now enables file sharing between iOS devices and Android devices. So Google apparently cracked the code on AirDrop. It sounds like it was not necessarily a two-way street. Uh, Google developers, Android developers, and Google at Team Pixel cracked the code for AirDrop. So if you're unaware, you can now send files via QuickShare and or AirDrop to any iOS device, iPhone, iPad, MacBook, it all works now. Now, the Apple developers were not included and or uh, were not in the know-how with this so-called crack, uh, but it just works, right? So you actually have to have a Pixel 10 series, which does suck, and you have to have a special app downloaded to your Pixel 10 series to enable quick share to any iOS device and or airdropped device, right? So this is basically like a bridge between Pixel 10 series, quick share and iOS quick drop. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do everything. I'm gonna give you the application you need on your Pixel 10 series to enable this. It doesn't just work out of the box. You're gonna have to download this app on your Pixel 10, install it, reboot your phone, and then you will be able to basically airdrop a file, a video, a picture to a iOS device. Now, I have seen some people online did a bunch. I was going to do a video earlier today, but I wanted to look, dig a little deeper into this. See, is it just for Pixel 10 devices? Officially, yes. However, I have seen a few people online say that they downloaded this app onto their phone and it did work. So most users said it didn't. I've seen some that did. Were they lying? I don't know, but it's worth a shot. Can't hurt your device, right? And they will enable it for uh, older devices as time goes on, but right now it's only exclusive officially for the Pixel 10 series. Uh, but let's jump into it and see exactly how this works. Now, I'm also gonna download this special app on my S25 Ultra and give it a try. We're first going to go walk through on the Pixel 10 to the iPhone, and I'll show it goes both ways. You can send a file from the Pixel to the iPhone via QuickShare, and you're supposed to send a file via the iPhone to the Pixel via AirDrop. And then we will test out the S25 Ultra. I'm recording on it right now. We'll give that a try as well and see if this... Google app that uh, you must have works between the S25 Ultra and the iPhone. So uh, let's jump into it and see what we can do. So the file you're gonna need will be linked in the video description. I'm gonna download the file on my end, upload it to a Google Drive. Don't worry, no viruses. I'm just pulling that file you need and then uploading it to my Google Drive. And then that link you see down there in the description, you can click that, download that APK, install it on your Pixel or whatever device, Android device you have and see if it'll work for you. It will work if you have a Pixel 10 series. However, like I said, if you have an S24 Ultra, S23 Ultra, go ahead and give it a try. See if it works. Again, I saw a couple of people saying it did. Most say it didn't, but it's worth a shot. But uh, let's jump into it. If you like that wallpaper, go to stockwallpaper.app. Stockwallpaper.app. I got all the stock wallpapers from all your favorite current and past devices ready for you to download ad-free stockwallpaper.app. The link will be in the description box down below. Here's the app you need, quick share extension. Now, I downloaded it. I bypassed a, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a Samsung here in just a second. Um, but here's what you need on your Pixel. So, quick share extension. I'm gonna link everything down for you down in the description. Now, it does require an update, and I did install it on my S25 Ultra. It'll tell you it's not uh, compatible with your S25 Ultra, but I'm gonna show you how to bypass it, right? 
So now that we have the update, what I'm going to do is simply restart this and then we will get it going on the iPhone. So we're going to probably share a photo or two, just make sure this works. Now, here's a little trick that you have to do for your iPhone. So what you have to do is you need to... I'm going to show you what you need to activate on here. So let's go to Air Drop. And what you need to do is you need to activate the Air Drop, everyone, for 10 minutes. So we're going to activate that, everyone, for 10 minutes. As the Pixel gets up and running, Pixel 10 Pro, iPhone 17 Pro. Let's get this going here. I got that wallpaper at stockwallpaper.app and the iPhone wallpaper. So now that that's going, what we're going to do is go share a photo, right? So let's share this wallpaper I got from stockwallpaper.app right here, right? So let's go to share and we're going to select quick share. And uh, shall it pull up? Oh, what do you know? iPhone is now available. What do you know? So we are going to accept it. Boom. There you go. Now let's do the other way around. So let's share this wallpaper. You can get a stock wallpaper app. And let's share it to here. So you select airdrop. Should pop up here. Aha. Uh -huh. Boom. There we go. It needs to be visible for everyone for 10 minutes. Everyone for 10 minutes. This was only on contact. So both devices need to be everyone for 10 minutes. Should be able to share. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Receive. Let's airdrop that photo. Yes, there you go. Wow, this is incredible. Next test is going to be the Samsung. Let's open that up and look at that. Now I can set this from stock wallpaper app. Let's try the Samsung and I'll show you what you got to do. Okay, so if you want to try it with your S25 Ultra, you're going to need a couple of things. So... What you're going to need, remember that quick share extension that you had to update on the Pixel. I'm recording on the Pixel now, but I actually found that quick share extension on APK Mirror. That's where I get all of my, that's where I get all of my APKs from. So now you're going to need to, to download the APK bundle installer. So you're going to need this. You're going to need APK Mirror Installer. You're going to need to download and install that on your on your Samsung S25 Ultra or whatever phone you have, right? And then you're going to need to download this bundle because it's going to need to install in... It won't install regularly. It's a bundle. It's not a... a it, it is an APK, but it's bundled with some other stuff in there. This will install it. No problem. So you're going to need to install APK Mirror Installer from the Play Store. You're going to need to download this, this uh, Quick Share Extension bundle from AP, uh, APK Mirror. And then something else you're going to need. You're going to need to go to F-Droid to download this app right here. You're going to need to download this. So what this does, it converts the bundle package... Uh, an APKM into an APKS. So what it does is it decrypts that bundle so APK member can install it. So um, I'm going to have that link for you down there as well. If you don't know what F-Droid is, it's another third-party APK, um, APK installer. They have a bunch of different apps. So let's give it a try. I just installed it. Uh, let's see here. So I just installed it. As you can tell, right here, quick file, install package, install app. Yes, I want to update. App installed. Let's open app. 
Now, it's not a technically, it's a, not an app, it's, a, it's an extension of QuakeShare. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart this phone and we shall give it a test. Now, I've already paired this Bluetooth. I will need to go into uh, QuakeShare uh, settings and I need to enable it for everyone for 10 minutes. I also need to, let's see here, I also need to make sure this has not expired for 10 minutes. Let's see here. Okay. While that's rebooting, let me go back here. Okay, that's up and running. Let's see here. Let me go. Let's go back to settings. Let's go back to airdrop. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that back on so it'll reactivate for 10 minutes. Let's go to quick share. Let's do this. So let's try to send. Let's try to send this picture. Actually, let's try another wallpaper that I got from wallpaper dot uh, stock wallpaper dot app. Right. So where are all of my wallpapers right here? Let's choose this one. Now, oh, let's attempt to share it should be linked let's see make sure that my bluetooth it's paired to the iphone you shouldn't have to yeah bluetooth on so it's paired to the iphone right i don't want tethering but it is paired right so let's do this so let's go back to the photo let's go share let's use quick share um let's see do, 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 do. settings let's see non-galaxy devices con ah, there we go everyone for 10 minutes done let's go back tell me it's for iphone that's it's wanting to send it to my pixel let's do this let's close everything out let's try it again it may not work. As I mentioned, it might not work. I just wanted to give it a try. Somebody said they got it to work, and we shall see. Let's see here. Is there an iPhone? Now let's do this. Let's share that. Will the Samsung pop up? Will it pop up? Can't get it to go, can we? Uh, let's go back. Let's go. Quick share. Uh, I wonder. I wonder if I can do the. Let's do QR code. And will this work? I mean, a QR code will still work if you're next to somebody. You can still drop it. Let's see. I mean, I guess that was kind of like the old way, right? You can just create a QR code and have them download it onto the iPhone. So you're sharing. See, yes, we want to download that file. Now, we can't. I'm guessing, I'm assuming. So I'm guessing, I'm assuming you can only on a non-Pixel 10 device you can, and I guess it's only for Samsung because if you have a Motorola, I don't know if Motorola has quick share by, by QR code, or I don't know if, if, um, one plus, of course they have a airdrop feature that's already available for one plus, but what about a nothing phone? They may, they might have it, but I just don't know if they have a QR code sharing. So a non pixel device, at least a Samsung device, you can send a quick share to an iPhone via the QR code. Now, I don't believe sharing from an iPhone to a, a an AirDrop from an iPhone to a Samsung will work. It appears it's just iPhone to Pixel 10. However, if you have this APK quick share file extension update on a Pixel 9 series, you can go through the setup process that I went through on this S25 Ultra, and it possibly could work. I may need to go borrow my daughter's, um, do or I, I think I have a Pixel, I have an older Pixel in here somewhere. I may, give it a, I may give it a try, but as far as I can tell, look, 
at least we're getting there, right? I mean, this was a huge step, uh, file sharing between at least Pixel and iPhone, and at least halfway there with this Samsung to iPhone. We just need the iPhone to share with the uh, Samsung. And I don't believe there is a... I don't believe there is a QR code share. I'm sure you could find one, but through the official quick share airdrop, it's just one way from a Samsung to iPhone. But at least on Pixel, it goes both ways. You just got to have uh, in, in quick share set settings and airdrop settings, everyone for 10 minutes, and then you can move pictures, videos, whatever you want back and forth. And it also works on iPad and MacBook. So, whew, man. At least we're making progress. At least we're making progress. I'll catch you on the next one. If you got any questions, give me a holler. Peace.